There is a city. A city located between two mountains. A city. A city which has settled on both banks of the Eshelurmak. It wakes up early in the morning. and lives during the day. It sparkles at night. Good morning, city. Hello, skies. Regards to you, river and mountain. Regards to you, Amasya. It is a city of wonder. The rows of residences on the shores of the Yeshilurmak, decorated as finely as miniatures, greet you. A visitor is first in awe of these houses, then is full of admiration for them. This is where you will find the tombs of kings carved into rock. Stark and windy castles Locals whose faces are etched with the trials of life. And a city whose historic legacy is cleverly merged with the modernity of today. A clock tower greets you right in the center of the city. Let's stop here and stare at it. And above all, let us remember that the National Salvation War was fermented here. Let us bow our heads in respect for the immortal words uttered by Mustafa Kemal to the nation and the world. The liberty of the country will be saved by the determination and decisiveness of the people of this nation.
this clock tower has borne witness to past times such as these and will also flow with you in time to witness a new era. The bridges that connect the two sides of the city carry not only people, but also destinies over the river. The Yeshil Urmak always flows beneath them, as if challenging over time. Amasya is the city of princes. It is as young and elegant as a prince. It is progressive-minded, just like a prince. You can see the effect that being a prince's city has had by looking at the expressions of the people sitting in the courtyard of Beazit II mosque complex. If you wish, you can visit every mosque, madrasa, almshouse and library which are scattered throughout the city and you will absorb their atmosphere. You can wander through the workshops which breathe life to traditional arts and crafts and stroll through the streets and experience the city at close quarters. Amasya is a simple, unique and quiet city. It is sufficient for the city to experience its self-satisfaction. The fruitfulness of the Yeshil Ulma catchment area is evident throughout. The wide expanses of peach, cherry and apple orchards, the grape vines and the recently developed agricultural greenhouses, which line the banks of the river, add vibrancy to the economy of the city and its social life. The colors of the soil are just as prolific as the yield of onions and corn. The healing waters are enough to entice visitors. Amasya is a haven of healing water. If a city is leaning against a mountain, then it is an ancient city. And it is our city. And these mountains encompass the city like the two shells of an oyster with a pearl nestling inside. One can sit and watch the city for hours. Amasya will consistently surprise you with how much natural beauty it has to offer. The jewel in Amasya's natural crown is Lake Borobai. This lake is considered one of Earth's rare splendors.
you must visit the museums that Amasya offers. See the small statue of Teshub, of which there are no other known examples in the world. Teshub was known as the god of thunder and is a historical gift bestowed on us, just as the remnants of the Virgin Mary. Anatolia's interpretations of sculpture became finer with the lines of compassion. The artifacts in the museum garden each reflect the immortal appeal of the land. Amasya is an ancient settlement area and has a history which dates back at least 7,500 years. The traces of history are evident at each corner of the city and through archaeological artifacts. Of all the ancient Anatolian cultures, it is here that Turkish history and consciousness is brought to life. The city that fascinates tourists is ready to share all colors of life with you. find all hotels and pensions offering all home comforts. You can spend a weekend here. And present your family with the gift of a holiday. You can explain to your children the richness of their culture without having to use words. Did you mention food? Let's pause here for a moment. and take a closer look at this banquet of delicious meals. Amasya has the uncanny ability to masterfully combine the legacies of yesterday with life today. This is typically evident at the mental institution of yesteryear, which is today the venue of free bi-weekly Turkish folk music and Turkish art music concerts, far from the mental institution of yesterday. Amasya by night is just as colorful and vibrant as it is during the day. The happiness of the locals from all walks of life, including children, Views and the elderly permeate the air. All you need to do is join in the rhythm. The appeal of Amasya lies in the residences which line the banks of the river like a beautiful piece of jewelry and each of which possesses a unique architecture. Each of these residences is a cultural and historical legacy. When visiting the Hazeranla residence, you witness the evolution of the spirit of life which has settled within.
Some of the residences, both large and small, are operating as small pensions and hotels. Each of the coffee houses are special places to sit with friends and discuss the value and beauty of life. The Turkish baths are also spotless and unparalleled. It is not just metal that is shaped in the adept hands of the samovar master who wanders the streets. It is an entire culture. Just like the silk carpets woven knot by knot by young girls. Visit Amasya. It is the homeland of Mihri Hatun, Turkey's first female poet. Here the sincere invitation the city extends to you. Make your way to Merzifon. See an imagination so vivid it resembles the colors of the intricate work on Kara Mustafa Pasha fountain. This is Amasya, your city, our city. Amasya is very close to you.